One of the second uh, big points that, that you're interested in building into this year is the notion of shared value, something that you've spoken about uh, in a number of, of settings. Talk to us a little bit about that and uh, where you see the chamber leading, leading on that particular push. Well, I, I will say this, I, I spent most of my business career working for large publicly traded enterprises and the idea of shared value to them is not particularly new. But again, I think as we look at a new administration and we're looking at ways to make sure that our economy here in El Paso uh, has some natural adv advantages that we think we can capitalize on, I think this is one. The whole idea of shared value is actually rather uh, simple in, in, in principle, but hard to execute. And it's this, is that we think business and community should come together and discuss how they create value together. Now that sounds pretty straightforward, but it is not easy. Some of the, the community doesn't trust business and uh, business has many stakeholders it has to take care of, not just, uh, let's say, the community. And uh, in, the, in the broad sense of the word, they have employees, for example, shareholders and others. So this is in customers, of course. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of effort that goes into pulling something like this off. But I think in the first instance, starting it here, uh, making sure that people feel comfortable and having these discussions in a place where we're all trying to work together to figure this out is the first step. And the chamber has a new committee. Uh, it's been founded by folks like uh, Marathon Petroleum, the, uh, Texas Gas, uh, the Water Cup, uh, the Water Authority, I should say, and also um, uh, others. is It's a great opportunity for us to begin to come together and figure out how to start to, to advance this project. And I think under this rubric, you're looking at things like environment, society, and governance. But also, um, we don't only want to be uh, thinking of it that way. It's also a great place for us to really focus in on how businesses in terms of value being created look at things like diversity and issues which are so important in 2020. Uh, the Chamber's had a, a long-standing interest in this anyway, but it, gets, it becomes more urgent and more important for us to be thinking this way. This is the perfect venue to be discussing not just, um, you know, diversity, but also, you know, adding green to that, <laughs> you know, and so I think this is a fabulous uh, venue for us to continue to show some some degree of leadership with our partners and our collaborators and um, and how we uh, how we look at this. And I think it's I'm quite excited about this area. I think it'll be meaningful for us and uh, uh, be good for business and our community in the long run and make sure that we're purposeful in how we chart that course.